And the next product is the product out of everything I'm talking about today that I love, love, love the most um, from October. And I think this is going to be my holy grail product um, from now on. And it's by YSL again. And it's a new mascara in Singulier. And it's fantastic. I showed you this in one of my haul videos. Um, really nice plastic bristled heltery, skeltery shaped uh, one, gives fantastic lashes, it makes them look really fluttery, um, really extreme um, length, volume, separates, everything. And if you like the really black mascara look, which I really like, add two or three coats and they look fantastic. But also if you're going for a daytime natural look, one coat also looks amazing. So I'm really, really liking that. Um, I'm going to do a review today on my blog, if you're interested. Um, okay, on to another eyeliner that I'm loving, and it's actually not an eyeliner. <laughs> this is by Seventeen, um, and I got this from my local boot shop, and it's actually a lip liner, but the colour is absolutely gorgeous and perfect for a nude, really natural eyeliner look um, under your waterline, in your waterline. Instead of using something harsh like a white, then this is better. It's really natural, really opens your eyes, makes a clean look, and it's gorgeous. Um, trying, I don't think you'll be able to see this because it's quite light, but it's a really nice baby pink, basically skin nude colour. It's there, and it's in the colour form, and it's so nice under the eyes, on the waterline. I love that. Um, okay, to a bronzer. Okay, so on to lip products. You know I love my lip products. And two that I've been loving this month are one by MAC, Close to Real. I've done a really um, in-depth review of this on my blog, swatches, pictures, um, what to pair it with, etc. And it's the most gorgeous, pale, nudey, peachy colour. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I love this. I probably reach this every day. And that's Close to Real. If you can still get hold of this, because it was limited edition, I recommend really getting it. Um, the second lipstick that I've been loving is by Rituals, and it's their La Vie en Rose. La Vie en Rose? I don't know. Um, and it's a really gorgeous bubblegum pink. I love their lipsticks. Really great quality, really creamy, long-lasting. And I just fell in love with this colour, and it's probably the only bright coloured lipstick that I would wear on a daily basis. I've been wearing it and pairing it with a nude lip gloss, and it looks amazing. So if you do live near a Rituals, this one's one to get. And their nude lipstick called Nude is really gorgeous as well. And okay, so that's all the cosmetics things um, done. And they're my favourite this month. And on to now the hair care, skin care, um, nail, nail varnish. Okay, so I'm going to start with the nail varnish that I've been loving this month. And it's by Ciarte. And it looks like this. And it's Ciarte for ASOS. And they've done a range of maybe 10 or 12 celebrity-inspired colours. And they're really nice. And this is in Sienna. And I've got it on my nails now. And it's a really nice, like, deep purple, deep grey purple. Really gorgeous for autumn and winter. And I really, really like it. Um, really good quality. And they're on offer at the moment. You can get, instead of £6 for one, you can get two for £8, which is really great. And I've definitely got to make another order. Okay, um, as you know, I bought this, the L'Oreal Serum, eyelash serum, about a few weeks ago, and I've been using it every day, twice a day, in the morning and at night, and I can tell you it's definitely made a difference to my eyelashes. I don't think it's made them grow longer, but I really definitely know that it's um, filled in patches in my eyelashes, made them thicker, made them a better shape, they look more fluttery, they look gorgeous, really nourished and healthy. And I really, really recommend this. This is great. And I think it's about £10, really good value. I'm so sceptical about it, I really didn't think it would do anything, but I can definitely tell the difference. Um, on to a eye makeup remover that I bought a few Sorry, my camera cut out the uh, memory stick was full, so I had to delete some pictures. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. Um, and it was an eye makeup remover that I discovered this month, and I love it. It's fantastic. And it's by Bourgeois. And I had no idea they did skincare stuff, but I just saw it on the shelf in Boots, and I thought, that looks nice. I really like the little pearl thing on the top. 
and um, a big bottle and I thought I'd give it a go and it's so good. Um, as you can see I've used a lot and it comes in two tiered so it's um, got an oil in it which is really great for liners like liquid lash liners or waterproof makeup or anything and it's so good and it's meant to, the reason I really like this is that um, it doesn't give a greasy feeling. Sometimes when I use my Boots Botanic or my MAC ones, it leaves my eyes, underneath my eyes, really greasy, like baby oil had been put on it or something. And I really don't like that, and I have to wash it off um, straight away. But this one doesn't do that at all, and it's fantastic. And I love it. And I think it's about £4 something, and I'm definitely buying that again. Um, so on to more skincare and the moisturiser that I've been really, really reaching for a lot this month is um, by a brand called Good Skin and it looks like this and it's developed, this one's developed for oil, oily skin. It's an oil-free lotion and it's so nice. It's really light, really easy to apply and it, you can feel it working and it blocks shine all day. So it's great base for underneath your makeup. Um, the only problem, problem with this is I have no idea where to buy it. Um, I bought it from my local Superdrug and it was an offer because they were clearing out the range so I bought quite a few bits and now obviously I, I don't know where I can buy it. So if anybody knows um, Good Skin, it says on the back that it's from New York so if anybody knows where you can buy this please let me know because I think it's fantastic. Um, on to hair care. So since I've had my hair cut um, I've been having you know I've been buying a few new products to work with it see if I can style it differently and things like that and the two products that I really really think are great um, are by Bumble and Bumble and they look like this and I know they're a bit pricey but I really really think they're worth it they really really work they make my hair feel amazing um, and the first one is their tonic lotion and it's a really really nice product for when you've got damp hair and you're just about to brush it through, you spray it quite a lot on um, and spray it thoroughly so it reaches your scalp as well because it's meant to recondition and refresh your scalp, I think. Soothes your scalp, sorry, because it's got tea tree herbs, vitamins and it smells really nice and it detangles my hair, which is a miracle because I have the tangliest hair in the world and I usually have to use lots of different products to um, be able to comb it through nicely, but this works really well. I spray just a bit on and I can comb through it easily and I love it. It leaves it feeling really soft and really, really nice. Um, and it says, for smooth grooming, a rich mix of vitamins, herbs and tea tree oil to tone tangles, refresh your hair, feed your hair and soothe your scalp. And it's great, really, really nice if you want a treatment for your hair. Um, and the other product by them is that product called Brilliantine. And this product's amazing. I've probably had this a few months, but since I've had shorter hair, I've been reaching for it a lot because when I had longer hair, I didn't find that it gave great effect. It didn't really do much. But now I've got shorter hair and it's not as heavy. It seems to really work with it. And um, basically, Brilliantine is a creamy looking, think of it now. Cream, a white creamy looking um, formula and it's really nice for adding kind of um, a style to your hair, adding bounce, adding kind of instead of being straight down it would add some shape and some volume and it's really really great product. It says um, brilliant, Brilliantine is unique and hard to define. It gives hair polish and a sort of languid slept in sexy look and that's exactly what it does. You hardly need any, probably that much. You put it on your fingers and work it through your hair and it has some kind of holding agent, separating thing and it, it looks really nice. Let's see if I can do it. Let's put some on. I haven't put any on today. But um, I would definitely buy this over and over again. It's a really, really unique product. So I just work it through the ends and the roots. And if you really like that kind of like messy you know, sexy selecting look, it's a really great product for that. I don't know if that works, but um, it gives it some kind of shape. It's fantastic. So that's definitely one of my October faves. Um, sorry this video has been really long and rambly, but they're all the products that I've been reaching for most this month, um, and I think are really fantastic. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.